Windows 10 from this to this. Awesome, isn't it? So let's jump right into it. First of all, you need to download and install Renmeter software for that. Type in your browser renmeter.net. Here are two files 3.3 beta release and another is 3.2.1 final release. For now, I'm going to download 3.2.1 final release. And remember, all these links I have provided in the description down below. And also, I have compressed all these things to one file and uploaded it, by which you can easily get all these files at once. It is of 43.69 MB. Just download this or you can also download each things separately. After downloading it, just go to your downloads folder and extract the RAR file. Here you will get all these files which I am going to use in this tutorial. First, we are going to install Renmeter software simply by just double clicking on it. After that, unload this preloaded skin which comes default with Renmeter software by simply right clicking on it and select unload skin. Cause we are going to use customized Renmeter skin. Now go back to your downloads folder and open Renmeter skins folder. Here are all these skins. Now we will install Renmeter skins manually. To install any Renmeter skin, just right click on it and select install. Now to open Renmeter, click on show hidden icons button in your taskbar. Here you will find Renmeter icon. Just double click on it to open it. In skins tab, you will find your skins which you have installed. Launch any Renmeter skin by simply just double clicking on it. You can also launch your Renmeter skin according to your desktop resolution. After that, you can simply manage your skins. To move any skin, just click and drag it. Simple, isn't it? If you want to add just more setting of any skin, just right click on it and select settings according to you. Renmeter is fully customizable. You can adjust many settings according to you. Once you have finished setting up your desktop, you will get an awesome live desktop. One thing I forgot to mention, if you are using Windows 10, you can make Start, Taskbar and Action Center transparent. To do this, go to Settings, select Personalization. Now in Color Step, scroll down and turn on the last option which says Make Start, Taskbar and Action Center transparent. Now you have an awesome live desktop up and running. And that's all this to it. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them in the section down below. Please remember to subscribe cause I will upload many other